Thank you, Professor Gerard, for giving this lecture on monetary policy transparency. Could you explain what monetary transparency is and what effect it has on the economy? Yes. Monetary policy transparency means that there is symmetric information between monetary policy makers and economic agents. Uh, so that's the essence of transparency, the absence of asymmetric information. It's accomplished through central bank communications. Uh, the effects on the economy are uh, two types of effects of transparency. On the one hand, uh, providing information reduces uncertainty, which can be beneficial, but it could also give rise to uh, people updating their expectations be potentially detrimental. On the other hand, a greater transparency allows people to figure out what monetary policymakers are up to, to find out about their intentions, and as a result, um, it allows the private sector to hold the central bank to account uh, and provides a beneficial incentive as a result. And can you provide some recent examples of central bank innovations with monetary policy transparency? Yes, most recently they have been taking place in the area of what's called forward policy guidance. So to provide information about the likely timing, direction and pace of future policy moves. Uh, and uh, this could be qualitative, but it could also be quantitative by specifying a specific date. It's been done by, the U by Canada in 2009 and the US in 2011. Um, or it could be by providing state contingent guidance with an explicit threshold for inflation, as has been done by Japan, um, and or for unemployment, which has been done by the US and the UK. Uh, so that's really where we see the, the biggest innovations uh, in transparency. And it's all in response to interest rates being at um, very low rates, um, leaving the central bank little leeway to do anything further and um, using central bank communications essentially as an additional tool to enhance the effectiveness of monetary policy. Professor Gerard, some argue that the recent uh, popularity of transparency can be wholly attributed to independence. Um, what does the latest data tell us about this relationship? It is true that as more and more central banks have become independent that is accompanied with formal accountability requirements, so that means greater transparency, but uh, central banks tend to be much more transparent than those formal accountability requirements, and we see that the increases in transparency go well beyond what they are required to do, and they, central banks have adopted greater transparency because they think it's improving the effectiveness of monetary policy, and that's really the primary driving force.